France is famous around the world for a few things, food, fashion, and art. However, there is more joy to life than meets the eye at this cultural venue and many interesting French facts to learn. Dive into the surprising history and shocking traditions to truly find out what this beautiful European country is all about. If you're ready, let's start. The largest country in Western Europe, France has long been a gateway between the continent's northern and southern regions. Its lengthy borders touch Germany and Belgium in the north, the Atlantic Ocean in the west, and the Pyrenees Mountains and Spain in the south. It also borders the Mediterranean Sea in the southeast, and the Alps, Switzerland, and Italy in the east. France has a very diverse landscape. There are beautiful beaches on the southeast coast, home to the French Riviera, and towering mountains in the south and east, where the snow-capped French Alps rise to the sky. Europe's tallest peak, Monte Blanc, is found in the French Alps, standing at a massive 4, 8, 10 m tall. Wide, fertile plains dominate most of the north and west, making France the agricultural epicenter of Europe. The sprawling, forested plateau of the Massif Central, a range of ancient mountains and extinct volcanoes, occupies France's southern interior. France is not just a popular destination that tourists tend to flock to. It's the most visited country in the world. About 89 million people stop by each year. This means you should expect plenty of the hustle and bustle and packed attractions. It also means you made a great choice. France is the top vacation location for a good reason as there are plenty of beautiful places to visit in France. There is evidence that early relatives of humans first settled in France nearly 2 million years ago. By 300,000 BC, Neanderthals arose there, and by 40,000 BC, Cro-Magnons had arrived. Over time, Celtic tribes from Central Europe moved into the region, and when the Romans occupied the territory in the 2nd century BC, they named it Gaul. Julius Caesar established full Roman control over Gaul in 51 BC, but by 400 AD Rome was in decline. Gaul was attacked by neighboring tribes, including Visigoths, Vandals, and the Germanic Franks, from which France would eventually get its name. In 843, a treaty created the territory of West Francia, which would later become France. Over the next thousand years, West Francia was ruled by a series of powerful kings. Several wars were fought over who would rule France, including the Hundred Years' War, from 1337 to 1453. In 1789, a violent period of change called the French Revolution began, eventually ending in the overthrow of the monarchy. France is home to the world's biggest and most renowned art museum, the Louvre. You may know it for its most iconic artwork, the Mona Lisa. These highly regarded halls display over 35,000 other pieces at any given time. It would take you 200 days to see every exhibit in the place. It also holds the world record for most visitors in one year. Every country has its own set of strange superstitions, and France is no different. Wait until you get a load of this outlandish legend that dates back to the Middle Ages. They say it's unlucky to turn a baguette, or any bread for that matter, upside down on a table. Contrary to popular belief, a couple of the foods that have been given the French name did not hail from this foreign land. French toast is said to have been invented by a man with the same last name in New York. French fries were first given to American soldiers during World War II from a part of Belgium that speaks French, hence the confusion. That's right, the camera phone was invented in France in 1997 by an enterprising Parisian called Philippe Kahn, a very surprising France fact. The first photo he took was of his newborn daughter, Sophie, which he sent to his family and friends. Not many people know that the national animal representing France is the rooster. It was on flags, bell towers, weather vanes, stamps, and a coin at one time. If you keep a keen eye out, you may notice that its symbol can still be found in all the Catholic churches in the country. France also has several other, more official emblems, including the tricolor flag. France boasts the highest peak in all of Europe. The summit is called Mont Blanc, and it's part of the spectacular French Alps near the town of Chamonix. It reaches a staggering height of 15,771 feet, 4,810 meters. You can endure a difficult climb to the top or take a scenic cable car ride to enjoy the views. 
France might be the spiritual home of the croissant, but the pastry actually began its days in Austria. The Kipferl, ancestor of the croissant, born in the coffee shops of Vienna in the 13th century, was the original crescent-shaped morning sweet. Made of a denser and less flaky dough, the Kipferl later crossed the border to France and became the famous croissant. Two new cookbooks are published here every day. France is known for its mouth-watering cuisine, which is considered a worldwide standard. Some of the most famous dishes originating in France, and they are still cooked to perfection today, range from coke au vin to chocolate souffle and French onion soup. Wine is the most preferred drink in France, accounting for almost 60% of the country's total alcohol consumption. The population's passion for a glass, or two, of wine may have something to do with the fact that France is one of the world's largest producers of wine, creating some of the best varieties in the world. Champagne, Burgundy, and Chablis, for example, are all homegrown. Following the Norman Conquest, French was the language of the king and court from 1066 to 1362, that's about 300 years. Though English regained prominence in the 14th century, the English language today is still peppered with French-derived words and phrases. On July 1, 1903, 60 cyclists embarked on the first ever Tour de France from the Parisian suburb of Montgeron. More than 100 years later, the event has grown to become the world's greatest cycle race, with around 198 cyclists racing some 3,200 kilometers, primarily around France in a series of stages over 23 days. The 2013 Tour de France was the 100th edition of the Tour de France and around 15 million spectators lined up to watch the 21-stage course for the centennial celebration. To say the French love to eat cheese is a huge understatement. The dairy munching nation produced around 1.7 million tons of cow's milk cheese in 2018 alone. There are also around 1,600 distinct types of French cheese to try, which are grouped into eight categories. Thankfully, the French don't keep it all for themselves. In 2018, the country exported more than 679,000 tons of cheese, while almost 895,000 tons were sold on the French retail market in 2017. France is a country that people envy because of its culture, social life, food, and history. I think you should definitely visit and see it. We have come to the end of our video for today. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe and like.